Hi and welcome back to my channel. So this is another Let's Face It box. I think this is September. Now as you probably know from the last box, I thought that was going to be the last one. But apparently I signed up to a rolling one month subscription which turned into a three month subscription. I'm not quite sure how that happened. Anyway, I hope that's cancelled now. So I'm just going to show you what's in this box. So September's box is supposed to be all about Dior products. Um, it feels quite light, so let's see what's inside. So first up we have some Eyelore false lashes. I haven't worn false lashes for quite a while now, um, but always nice to have. There's no, I haven't seen this in one of their boxes before. I've never heard of EDM, I don't know if you have. Drop me in the comments if you have. This is a green eyeshadow palette. I don't really wear this green. Um, I'm going to stick to gold. So. But, you know, it's a nice sparkly, shimmery, greeny blue shade in there if you, you're into that sort of thing. This is W7 Ultra Hydrating Two Step Mask. Looks quite interesting. Uh, it's designed to remove dead skin cells, no environmental debris, intensive moisture, and it contains hyaluronic acid, collagen, Japanese camellia, and a blend of lavender, sage, and rosemary. Um, obviously, to hydrate any sort of really bad dry skin you might this have. It's another wax melt. I do love the little wax melts they put in there, they do smell amazing. Um, so I've had some really nice ones over the last few months. Um, I don't really use them that much just because I don't really burn that many candles and stuff. But if you do like wax melts and candles, then they are really nice. And this one's fruit salad. It doesn't really smell like fruit salad that much, but it still looks nice to have. This is a peeling gel, a rose gummage by the brand VO. I love them. And uh, it's obviously just a gentle exfoliating product. Next one is a doll's eyes eye brightening duo by Amuse. So we have gold on that end and then white on that eye. So obviously you put the white in the corners of your eyes and you can also use it as like a, an eyeliner. It has a little sharpener as well in the end, which is quite handy. Just discovered this card, so we haven't had any cards in the other boxes, so we know what we are, but know not what we may be. So that's quite an interesting little philosophy of life there, what we may become in the future. And we have some tissues. And you have too many tissues, I guess, to put in your handbag, be you out and about. It's in a nice little package or chocolates this month's now varnish is a by technique it is a cute glittery red varnish in brooklyn babe quite a festive shade good for christmas so if you do have tired eyes and this may help it's a warming eye mask so it's designed to revitalize tired eyes and it can be used for things like on the train, on a plane, if you're in bed. Um, yeah, I don't know if you're not supposed to take it off after a certain amount of time. Um, relax, enjoy 20 minutes of warmth. Um, so I don't know if you should use it when you're sleeping, really. This is this month's perfume. Um, there's Jimmy 10 mils. And we have a tag telling you what it is, but not this time. So I have no idea what it is, but it smells. Hmm, I to tell. Um, it's not florally. No, oh, it's got a bit of floral. That's quite um, quite a stronger scent. Can't put my finger on what it's in it. Last but not least, we have the Dior products for this month. So first up is Dior Adit Lip Tattoo Long Wear Coloured Tint. I generally don't buy much Dior because it's very expensive. I don't know if it looks really that worth it compared to you know, typical high street products that generally do the same sort of thing nowadays. Okay. 
there. So this is one of them. It's not really my shade, unfortunately. So I don't think nudes really suit me. This is quite an orange. Might try it out. See if it looks like I might. I don't think it will suit my skin colour in, unfortunately. More up my street. This is Rouge Dior Ultra Rouge. The red lipstick. And in Ultra Rush. Let's just have a look. This is the one. Right, red packaging. If I get open. Hmm, it looks more coral. Hmm, it's about to have a bright red. That's not. No, I'll still give it a go and see what it looks like on. This is everything that was in the box for September. So they did send these year old products as promised. And it has a decent selection of other items to try. I've got quite a collection of face masks now. So yeah, I mean, all in all, if you do like a good variety of products in your box, new stuff to try, and, and you don't mind gifts that you might not normally use, then look incredible is not look incredible. Let's face it is a, a good box to have, but just be warned. Um read the small print when you're signing up. Um because you might be to cancel you have to email them. Um, they won't let you cancel them otherwise so beware. Um yeah that's so what do you think? So do let me know what you thought of the box in the comments if there's anything any videos you'd like me to try in particular topics or anything like i don't know you want to learn how to do something for example like i've done a few videos on things like why you might be feeling tired recently or how um, magnesium sulfate paste can actually reduce spots and boils and things like that so yeah just let me know and um do like and uh, do share if you think anyone else would want to know what's in September's Let's Face It box. See you next time.